Hi again, so we'll be solving exercise 3 which is uh, about finding the maximum and minimum values in uh, an array. So let's uh, read. So we need to write the program that determines the largest and the smallest value in an array of integers. Then we should display the value. So we should display the array and display the number of appearance and the position of the maximum and the minimum values. Okay. So we need to find the minimum, the maximum, we need to find the position, so the index of the maximum and the minimum, and the number of appearance of this number, so how many times it appeared in the array. So if the array contains several maxima or minima, the, prog the program will uh, retain the position of the first maximum or minimum encounter. So for example, if we, the number of appearance is, mul is not just one, it's multiple times, so we need to uh, uh, output the index of the first uh, minimum or maximum. So here's an example. We have this array T which contains several elements. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the minimum here is at uh, is minus 6 and it appears as index uh, 5 because the index, so we have 8 elements, so indexes are between 0 and 7 and it appears just uh, one time, so however 9, it appears two times and uh, so this is why, so it, it has number of appearance equal to and the first time it appears, it's uh, at the position number 2, so index number 2 and this is the maximum, so we need to do this, so uh, first I will just uh, find the maximum and then incrementally we will uh, add the other uh, features, which is the, mani the minimum, the number of occurrences, and the uh, index. So let's start. So we, will ha we have an array A of size, let's say size, so we already covered this in the second exercise. So we'll define a constant, let's say 100 here, and uh, let's start. So we need an integer i, i for the uh, loop, and we need the effective size, so let's call it uh, n here. Of course, we need the minimum and maximum, but let's keep it for now. So we need to read the dimension. So print f, enter n, and scan f percentage d, address of n, and we'll do that as long as n is less or equal to zero, or n is greater than size. So then we will read the array. So uh, let's say print f reading the array. So here I will, I will read the array just in one line. So I will not uh, print enter, enter, enter. So we'll do just a for loop. So for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. And directly I will scan f percentage d address of a of i so the user should enter the elements one directly so he knows so reading the array or let's say enter more enter an integer so here d integers integers so it's it's more nice here. So then when he hits enter, we should calculate the maximum and minimum. So how can we calculate the maximum or minimum? So if I have uh, <coughs> multiple elements, so I need to find, for example, if it's equal to 9. So let me take an example here and uh, see what we will do. So I'll take some uh, uh, easy example. So like, like this one on, on, on the internet. So 3, 8, 9, 5, 0, minus 6, 9, and minus 5. So, we'll start. So, you'll tell me, okay, I will start from 3 because I'll start from i equal to 0. I need to loop over all the array because the maximum could be uh, at, the at, the, at the top of the array or at the uh, bottom of the array. So, we need to traverse all the array. So, 3 for now is the maximum because this is the first encountered element. And then we'll see 8. So, 8, so this is the maximum here. So first, it would be equal to 3, it's most obvious, it's the first number. And then I have 8, I will compare 8 with max, so 8 obviously is bigger, so I will put 8 in max. Then I'll get 9, obviously 9 is bigger than, than 8, so I will save it. 5 is smaller, so I will skip it, 0, skip it, minus 6, and 9, okay, 9 is, is equal to 9, so I will not change it, and I have minus 5. So I will, at the end, I will get maximum equal to 9. So, another example. I have this array, 8, minus 7, and 6. So I just have three elements. 
So first, so here's the idea. First, max is equal to eight. It's, it's that I, I do not I don't need to compare it. However, I cannot compare it because at, at the beginning max it contains some random value. So at first I need to put uh, the first element into the array. So regardless what is the number in the first element of the array, so I will put eight and then I will compare minus seven is smaller, six is smaller. So the maximum is it, it happened that it's first the element of the array. So let's go and do that. So I will I have here the max. So in max, so what I will do is that I will loop. So however, in max, as I have, as we have seen now, I will put the first element in the array. So it's equal to a of zero. You should pay attention that I cannot, for example, place max of a of zero before reading the array because a of zero it contains here some random value. So obviously I should place it after doing the scan up. So here. Or, okay, I have looped, I have uh, checked the first element, and here I need to loop not from zero. You can loop from zero, you will do the test one more time. However, you can loop from one because the case where array is just, just contains one element, so the maximum is the first element, so it's already here. So we don't need to compare the, the, the maximum with a of zero again. So we, for that, we will not start from i equal to zero. So i less than n, i plus plus, and then so I will check. So if a of i is greater than max so i will update max as easy as that okay so this is for the maximum so let, 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 let us see if it's correct so i will after looping i will print f max equal to max percentage d backslash n max and let's take a small example let's run the code so we have here two semicolon okay let's run print print f what else so let's say we have four elements so please enter four elements two nine minus four and five so obviously the maximum is equal to nine so we have already found the maximum so let's uh, now continue and let's find the minimum so again i will find the minimum so again the minimum always will suppose that we have just an array with just one element so the minimum would be equal also to the first element so it's the same so again here minimum at first it would be equal to eight and then i will compare so minus seven is smaller than eight i will place minus seven and then I have 6, 6 is not mm, smaller than minus 7, so it will be minus 7. So again, I will start from this one. So I will keep the loop and I will directly calculate the minimum. So I would ask, so here there is no else because I need to update both minimum and maximum. So if AI, so I can do uh, is less than minimum. So in minimum, I would place A of I. So minimum and let's get display it. So let's run the code and see what happens. So four, two minus seven, six, five, zero. So the maximum is five and the minimum is minus seven. So we already uh, uh, finished those two parts, the minimum and maximum. Then we need the index of the first occurrence, and then we will calculate the number of occurrence. So we need the, the, the index of the first appearance. So let, a, let me uh, uh, rerun the code with multiple repeated elements. So 5, I would say 0, 3, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. So obviously, the minimum is equal to minus 2, and the maximum is equal to 3. However, I need also the index. So here we have two indices. So we have uh, uh, one for three and three for minus two. So I need also the index. So for here, I need also the index of max and index of min. So you, you, uh, we should initialize this one, these. So how, uh, what's the value that we can initialize those values? So obviously, since we have started from a of zero, so the indexes 
So if, for example, the minimum is at the first element, so the index will be equal to zero. So obviously we will start from zero because we already placed minimum and maximum as equal to a of zero. So as long as I'm going, so whenever I change this minimum and maximum, I need also to modify the index and index min. So obviously if I found a new maximum, so I need to change the index uh, min and index max. So obviously I would place the modification here. So if a of i is greater, so if a of i is the new maximum, so what's the new index? Obviously it's equal to i. And if I change the minimum, obviously what's the new minimum? Index of the new minimum is equal to i. Let's again rerun this code and check if it's correct. Oh, it didn't uh, print the index. So, uh, so we should write index, comma, index equal percentage d. So here we have index max. And again, here we have index. And we have index min. So rerun. So 5 is 0 minus 3 minus 3 2 and 2 so we have the maximum is equal to uh, 2 and is of index 3 let's check 0 1 2 3 right and we have the minus 3 which is an index 1 so right this is the first appearance this is the first uh, index of the uh, minus 3 so I, I i will i will if i ask you now i need not the first appearance of the uh, maximum you know i need the last appearance so what do you need to change in this code if the question was the, 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 to find the last occurrence. So if I want to find the last occurrence, it means that if uh, the, mix, the maximum is uh, uh, equal to the previous maximum, I need to uh, change the index max and index min. So in order to, to answer this, we need to uh, count the number of appearance. So how can I calculate the number of appearance of 2 here and th minus 3 here? So in our code, when, when I'm looping over uh, the array, I'm just checking if AI is greater or strictly less. So I'm not uh, uh, testing if it's uh, AI is greater or equal to a max. So if I place here equal, so what what it will what will change? So uh, uh, here, if I place equal, so I will get the last occurrence of the index. So let's run this, and then we will see what we'll do with the number of occurrence. So again, five zero minus three minus three two and two. So here we have the in, in this is the changes. So the maximum is equal to index four because it's the last occurrence, and the index here is equal to two uh, because it's the last occurrence of minus three. And just remember that we are starting from zero. So uh, placing equal here uh, it doesn't mean so it doesn't help me to count the number of occurrence. Here we go. So we, we need also two variables. So let's write it here. So count uh, min and count uh, max. So obviously, the first time, count win, count max, they will be equal to, try to guess it, so it's equal to 1. Why it's 1? Because we already said that there's A of 0 is a minimum and max, and this is the minimum and maximum, and obviously it's the, uh, the appearance is just one time, so it's wrong to place here 0. So, uh, how can we do that? So if we place here count min plus plus, or we place here count max plus plus. So this is wrong, and you will see why. So because I will tell you now, and then when, when running when running the program, we will see that in in, uh, in how the numbers are, are wrong. So if I place just count plus as uh, here count min plus plus and count max plus plus, it means that every time that I'm changing the maximum, I'm counting min. So for example, at first I have zero, and then I'm changing. So let me give you an example. So I will give you uh, 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 five elements, and those five elements, they are in ascending order. So every time, I will be changing the maximum. So the minimum, uh, we didn't uh, print the number of occurrence, so number of occurrence equal percentage D. The same for the uh, minimum, so count max here and count min here. So let's rerun and see that the counters for the maximum is wrong. So 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yes, the number of occurrence is wrong. So why? Because, so let's let's do it here and see what, what's wrong in that. 
So uh, we have five numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So we have initialized maximum equal to a of uh, zero, which is equal to one, and the index, so index of max, equal to uh, zero, d number of occurrence equal to one. And then I'm, I'm doing the loop, so obviously a of one is greater than uh, one, so I would place uh, two here, and the maximum is equal to one, and I will increment the number. So again, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, and five. So I will end with five. So placing count max and count min like this, it's obviously wrong. So why why it's wrong? Because I need just to increment count max and count min whenever uh, a of uh, i is equal to the max, not is greater to the max. So for that, I need to do a separate test for a of i is equal to max. So if a, if a of i is equal, so if a of i is equal equal to max, so I need to remove this equal here. I need to increment the max. I need just to increment the count max because I will not need to uh, modify all uh, this. So and whenever I'm changing the maximum like here, I need to place count max equal to one. I need to reinitialize to the count last one. So the same is here. So if a of i is less, I will do that. So I will place in count min equal to one. So I'll just copy that. So, and let's see now if it will work. So I will repeat the same example. So five, one, two, three, four, five. And yes, it's okay. So the minimum at index zero, the number of occurs equal to one, and it's equal to four and one. So let us uh, run with the uh, this example. So we have here seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. So eight, and the elements are three, eight, nine, five, three, eight, nine, five, zero minus six, zero minus six, nine, and minus five. So the maximum is 9, right? The number of occurrence is uh, 2, so 2 times, and the index is 2, right? The minimum is equal to minus 6, right? The index is 5, okay, again. And the number of occurrence is equal to 1, and this is it for this exercise. So we have uh, seen how we can calculate the minimum and maximum. It's the one of the most basics and uh, 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 very known exercises. So you need to know how to calculate the minimum and maximum in the array. You need to know how to calculate the index, and you need to know how to calculate the, the number of occurrence of an element into the array. So it's a three-in-one exercise. So if you have any question, do not hesitate to drop me a message, and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.